Hello everyone and uh, welcome to DiPy workshop. My name is Serge Kudoro and uh, I'm software developer at the Gary Faridis Research Group. Also, I'm uh, one of the core developer of DiPy and Fury. This is a part three of uh, image registration session. If you have not seen the part one and two, I recommend you to start with it because I will skip many concepts. In this part, we will focus on the non-rigid registration. But uh, what is a non-rigid registration? Here, a small example of a non-rigid registration. Non-rigid method, non-rigid registration methods are capable of aligning where correspondence cannot be achieved without localized deformation. Localized deformation is like uh, squashing a paper to fit the best as you can a specific model. The summary of registration method can better accommodate anatomical, anatomical, physiological, and pathological variability between patients. Let's quickly review the basic concept of what is an image registration process through this uh, illustration. We have two images here and here. The static image, LG, on his uh, own uh, grid, grid space, and uh, the static, the moving image, LI, on uh, his own grid space. First, we need to project them in a common space, named the physical space. It permits to obtain an independence from the image acquisition parameter. Then, the goal of the brain image registration is to compute the transformation phi, such as how image omega g, that you can see here, is as similar as possible to the image omega i, according to a particular similarity metric. When those images are aligned, we can project them back to the static image grid space to get the exact alignment result. The classic elastic model is one of the earliest formulation for nonlinear image registration. In a nonlinear image registration, the transformation phi is usually represent is the transformation phi here is usually represented by a deformation field named U that assign a displacement vector to each point X, such as phi de X equal to X plus the deformation U de X. On this, elex on this elastic model equation, L is a differential operator. This is used to control uh, the smoothness, the smoothness of uh, our deform deformation field U. P, that you can see here, is our similarity, similarity measure, which drives the registration. The, the limitation of this model is that the solution is not guaranteed to be invertible. This is especially uh, important in medical imaging registration. The good point is that the solution is really smooth, but even if it was uh, invertible, the solution are not inverse consistent. What does it mean? It means that if the same function is used to obtain the optimal transform mapping j to i or i to j, the solution are not inverse of each other. So to overcome the limitation of the elastic model, the large deformation framework was proposed by uh, Christensen and uh, further develop, developed by uh, Beg. It formulates uh, the problem in terms of the flow of transformation of phi that satisfies the, deri the, deri the derivative of phi, as you can see on the, the, this equation here. The, fin the final uh, diffeomorphisms can be obtained by integrating over time. Yeah. 
Then Dr. Dupuis showed that um, by enforcing the smooth the smoothing, it can guarantee the different morphine. For that, you need to, to use a differentiator operator L that uh, we saw previously. This, diff this uh, differmorphic flow ensures that uh, images are smoothly transformed and their topology, topology preserved. But uh, Avans modify uh, the standard L LD, uh, DMM formulation to enforce symmetry by splitting the trajectory in two trajectory with opposite direction. If we independently compute two transforms, let's name them uh, phi and theta. That registers the image G toward I or I toward G. A desirable, a desirable property would be uh, that phi is equal to the transport of theta. The symmetry seems natural and desirable. However, this is not ensured in the standard computational method solving the LDMM problem. Avance computes the gradient of the metric only at the midpoint of the trajectory. As opposed, as opposed to evaluate it all over time, as we can see on this equation here. Smoothness and unpredictability is achieved by convolving the gradient with a Gaussian curve K and scale it by a small factor. Here, a quick summary of uh, the synagogism that I just explained. And after uh, initializing uh, some parameters, you can see that uh, the greedy synagogism registers two input image by computing two deform morphisms that map the input image toward the common preference domain. The final deform morphism is computed by composing uh, these two partial deform morphisms. This algorithm can be found in uh, ANS, the original implementation. And we have another implementation in DiPy. So this algorithm, this algorithm is one of the best algorithms and it uh, ranks well in every competition for image registration, especially in medical imaging. Now, I will start a quick uh, video that uh, we created with a DIPI implementation to show how the algorithm work. On the right, you have uh, the static image and on the left, you have the moving image. You can see that after uh, many iteration here, we can observe some local deformation on each region of our brain. When our optimizer succeed, to minimize the similarity metric, it stop, and we have our final different morphing map. You can easily use uh, this algorithm with DiPine, and here is how. First, the, the easiest way is via the command line interface. So the command line name is a DiPine online scene. Like before, uh, you need to you need to define uh, your reference images and uh, your moving image. If you need to define uh, more input parameter like the metric, uh, the image param the image param pyramid, etc., you can look at the help by doing a DIPI align scene minus h. This command this command line will provide you all. This command line will provide you access to all advanced parameters if you want to fine tune uh, it for better performance. A small note, by default, to improve uh, performance, precision, and computation time, 
an affine registration will be applied first before applying uh, the sin algorithm. Of course, you can disable this option by switching off uh, the flag progressive. The second method is via Python coding, of course. You can look at uh, the complete example in the DiPy tutorial. First, you need to apply yourself on a file registration. You can watch the previous video to see how. Then we define our metric. Here we pick the cross, -cor the cross correlation. Our deformorphic uh, registration object is ready to be initialized. And you can uh, just run it and obtain uh, your forward and backward mapping uh, by calling uh, the transform. So that's all. Thank you for watching uh, this uh, video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me through GitHub or uh, through uh, the Q&A session or the workshop. Thank you for your attention and bye-bye.